Look, this is artsy. These kind of where they're just like draped in. It's kind of cool. There's a collar. Here's a collar. Here's a collar. I'm pissed off that people aren't uh, real. That the bully always gets their way. And that's in all walks of life. Wherever the fuck you are at. Wherever the hell you are at is more appropriate. And in most cases, you can use the F word. Because most people are in the worst situation, so... How? Why not half the world can use the statement, where the fuck are you at? Half the world can use that. And it's literal, because they are forced on prostitutes. They are sex slaves. Haiti, 99%. So Dottie, this one delusional person I knew, has the delusional the and even team of stuff to see. She's like, Yeah. Oprah went on Twitter. Justin Bieber, the hell about Haiti? Okay, that's a really nice little fantasy that you have there. That's nice. Oh, we're America's gonna do oh yeah, yeah. Did Oprah read the sister Nagetti? Sister Mary McGetty book. 69 year old nun that helped out. Uh, children under 10 that were forced on um, to do be prostitutes and deliver drugs. Maybe some of them were as small as five. I, really, really small children they used to deliver their to do the dirty work, because no one's going to guess a little kid's going to do it. Uh, it's, it's, it's really, really bad. These kids were abused, and she helped a lot of them out. But where were any of the churches? And she was the only one. Okay, So that's a really good, godly person. Uh, she was much better than um, Mother Teresa. Because Mother Teresa was she just wanted to suck the poor person in her little tiny religious realm, okay? And she might have fed him a piece of bread, okay? And when they were offered beds somewhere, she refused the beds. Yeah, they're gonna sleep on the hardwood floor. Cause I, Mother Teresa, am a bitch. <laughs> Why would you deny someone that a bed? I would sleep on the floor, bitch. Mother Teresa is a bitch. Okay. Really. And she smelled. But I smell because I couldn't help it. <laughs> my situation was that bad with my ex-boyfriends. I mean, my God. I couldn't have picked two of the worst trucks in the Lagos store. <laughs> Mike and Glenn. <laughs> Completely incompetent. And I don't know why the hell they didn't die. <laughs> and Mike is how that works. Glenn saved me from Mike. That's how bad. So there are is worse or evils. Mike's a hell of a lot worse. But Glenn's really, really fucking bad. Also, and it comes came to the same evil because he did. He put me in that mood of suicide, both men and 